Friends, we have seen in the last class lesson 5 syllogism type 1 under test of reasoning. Type 1 syllogism as you know is drawing inference from two logical statements. Now today we are going to see lesson 5a syllogism type 2. Syllogism type 2 means drawing inference from more than two, probably three or four logical statements. When you have to draw inference from more than two, namely it can be three or four logical statements, then it is called syllogism type 2. Now what is the difference between syllogism type 1 and type 2? Basically all the principles that we have learnt in syllogism type 1 are applicable to syllogism type 2 also. There is no change. There is only one thing extra. In the case of more than two statements, we have to follow one more additional rule called chain rule, where it is possible to align three statements. So let us see what is the chain rule. If three statements are required to check a conclusion, then we have to follow the chain rule. Under the chain rule, we have to align the all the three statements, namely the predicate of the first statement and the subject of the second statement must be the same and the predicate of the second statement and the subject of the third statement must be the same. Then we can cancel and arrive at uh, some conclu valid conclusion. Let us see an example which will clarify what is uh, chain rule and how to apply it. Now let us see the working. Statement 1, some boys are cooks. Statement 2, all cooks are dancers. Statement 3, no dancer is a poet. Now this is I type statement, this is A type statement and this is E type statement. Now before we apply chain rule, we should see whether all the three statements are properly aligned. The predicate of the first statement and the subject of the second statement, yes, they are properly aligned. Similarly, the predicate of the second statement and the subject of the third statement must be the same. Now, all these three statements are properly aligned. Now, we can apply the chain rule and arrive at conclusions. Now, apply the mediate inference for statement 1 and 2. What is the mediate inference for statement 1 and 2? I plus A, I am Indian. I plus A, the resultant is I. The resultant conclusion is I type. Now, that is the resultant is I type. Now, that we will, uh, we will compare with the statement 3. I plus E is equal to I eat onions O. So, the valid inference which you can arrive at is O type and voice is the subject, poet is the predicate of the third statement. The valid inference you can draw after properly cancelling these two is some boys are not poets. That is because we have first uh, drawn the mediate inference using statement 1 and 2. Then with the resultant in, uh, conclusion, we have uh, drawn mediate inference along with the statement 3. Some boys are not poets. That is the correct uh, valid uh, inference which we can use, which we can arrive at 
by chain rule. Now, what are the steps in solving syllogism type 2? For type 1, we have seen some steps which you may be remembering. For type 2, basically the principles are the same but slight some changes here and there are there and we are now consolidating our position of understanding. The first step in solving syllogism type 2 is write the statements and write the conclusions go to the conclusion, go to each conclusion that is the first step the second step is verify how many statements are required to arrive at that conclusion look at the subject and predicate of the conclusion of each conclusion from the subject and predicate find out how many statements this is derived from how many statements then step 3 if it is derived from one statement then it is immediate inference we know how to draw immediate inference using table 4 then another uh, uh, alternative is if the subject and predicate are from two statements then it is mediate inference we know how to draw the mediate inference what are the mediate inferences that are possible we have already seen probably I will just uh, uh, remind you of uh, what are all the valid mediate inferences that we can draw all apples are apples all England is England that is the second third every American is odd uh, fourth every Indian is odd then fifth I am Indian and sixth I eat onions in the case of odd every American is odd every Indian is odd you should remember it is over reverse where the subject and predicate get interchanged these are the six immediate inference rules which you should which is contained in table six which you should apply if the conclusions are drawn from two statements suppose the subject and predicate of the uh, conclusion is to be arrived by using three statements then you have to use chain rule just now we have seen the concept of chain rule and in some examples we will be seeing the application of chain rule now once we use all these three steps the third step is completed then you will know how many conclusions are right and how many conclusions are wrong now we cannot stop with that because why it's very simple we have something called a complementary pair if two or more of the conclusions are arrived at as false then we will have to check for complementary pair the alarm bell should ring in your mind and you should check for complementary pair so that is the fourth step to restate or recapitulate what are the four steps first step go to each conclusion second step find out the subject and predicate of the conclusions verify the subject and predicate of the conclusion third step if the, if the conclusion is drawn from a single statement use immediate inference uh, in table 4 and if the conclusion is drawn from two statements then it is mediate inference use table 6 and if the conclusion is drawn from three statements then apply chain rule by this time you will know which are the conclusions that are right and which are the conclusions that are false if more than two statement, two conclusions are false, apply uh, the fourth step is to verify for complementary pair. And with that we will end all our uh, attempts to solve the problem. We will get the full answer.